what's good YouTube uh, I've seen a handful of people do these videos so I figured I'd, I'd go ahead and put mine out there as well um, this is also something that my uh, guy Nuke Machinist uh, aka JD also touched on me doing a little bit and that's kind of uh, going back to my childhood and I figure I'll take you guys through a little bit of a journey f at least uh, as far as it goes for me and picking up kicks and how I became involved in the sneaker world um, etc. Uh, I've pretty much always been in love with shoes and it's nothing that's ever really fluctuated it has nothing to do with the culture etc. Um, as you can see this is me as a one year old and yes I was born to do this um, those are some OG Jordan 1's uh, the 85-86 Jordan 1 um, I was born in 87 and my dad held on to a pair so this is me right around age 1, 1988 rocking the uh, black, white, and uh, red Jordan 1's that just came out this past weekend um, and growing up I was basically always really into sports um, as you can see here's me and my brother and I'm wearing the 96 championship t-shirt uh, the team that went 72 and 10 Orioles hat Jordan pants and then my brother's in the background rocking the uh, Penny Hardaway jersey and then here's us shooting baskets uh, got the one-legged floater going there wearing the Jordan jersey and then again with the uh, Bulls hat championship t-shirt with my grandma and uh, aunt and uncle. Um, now my parents uh, initially when I was younger didn't want to go straight for the Jordans they thought they were kind of a waste of a money waste of money so as you can see I'm really hoping that these retro this year uh, these are the Fila Stackhouse um, see me I, I was basically always wearing Jordan jerseys uh, but this was like the first signature basketball shoe that I picked up and I was uh, really proud of I guess you could say um, and they weren't weren't even that expensive. We got them uh, from this place called uh, Shoe Carnival right by my house, and they were maybe like 50, 60 bucks when I was a kid. So they were the second best alternative to Jordans. And then basically, and I had the the Grant Hills, all those. They they carried a lot of really good feel of shoes there. Um, but after these, I got really into Iversons, and I know I'm gonna get. A lot of crap for this, but here's my uh, my dad, brother, and I, and I am wearing Robin's Egg Blue Reebok Questions, and I had probably I want to say four or five different colorways of this shoe. It was definitely one of the most comfortable shoes and one of my favorite shoes. And then this is the first shoe that I was ever bought. Uh, first Jordan I, that was ever bought for me and uh, it was the Jordan 11.5 I believe Team Jordan and uh, I was really proud of it and as you can see uh, here is the actual original shoe I still own it um, it's like a 6 or a 7 in a kid size but uh, this is the first Jordan that uh, I ever owned kind of and knew about uh, besides that Jordan 1 that you guys saw. And then the first Jordan I ever actually bought with my own money was the Jumpman Pro, I believe is the name of it. And it was uh, navy blue white and then it had the little yellow Jumpman on the side. But I was really, really proud of this shoe. First Jordan I ever bought. And then basically after that point, my passion just got crazy. I would buy Jordan, every number Jordan that would come out. I really started getting into it. There weren't a lot of other people really my age that were into kicks, but right around this time is the time that I started buying a lot of shoes. A lot of Jordans. Basically my favorite players that would come out, I would try and get their signature lines. And then I'll just kind of end on uh, another picture that I found of me uh, on the track team here, uh, if you can get the light out of there, wearing the Jordan 16s. And that was one shoe that I loved, love, love. And as you can 
uh, see I still have the original pair um, this is one Jordan that I've been wanting to retro for a really really long time uh, I don't know if it ever will but um, yeah so I've had a lot of Jordans in between I had every number Jordan from 11 and I did, never got the 12s I, I was never a fan of the 12s but I had 11, 13, 14, 15 and 16 and then 17 is where my my dad was like no that ain't happening because they had the $200 um, it was the $200 shoe 17 because it came with the uh, metal briefcase but I'll end this video before it gets too long because it's going to take forever to upload because it's HD but top 15 movie video coming soon and I figured I'd just do this quick video kind of show you some old pictures take you through my personal journey and uh, hope you guys have a good day rate comment subscribe as always and talk to you soon peace